This corn was planted April 17th. It's 110 day maturity. Mm -hmm. It was a winter wheat field last year. Uh, Reagan was taking some sap samples out here. She takes them here every two weeks. Yeah, so I take them bi-weekly. We have a trial going on out here that we're watching as well. So um, it's nice to do those bi-weekly. I was really shocked when I took it this week. Um, it, I've come out here and it's just a beefy plant that we have going on. Um, it's really setting on those ears and it's some of the furthest along and best looking corn that we have in my opinion. Which is interesting to me, you know, we started planting April 14th, this is 17th, that's not a big deal, but we've got some 100 and 102 day varieties, and here you're saying this 110 days the furthest along. That could be the difference in the wheat stubble and the corn on corn, I guess, but what do you think? I think um, our nitrogen stream barring has been a really big thing here. Um, we have done some later applications with the helicopter too, so we're trying to just pack on that ear and really fill it out all the way to the end. Um, but yeah, I'm just really impressed. Minimal weeds out here too, which is always a great thing. Yeah, this is always and, great. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just really impressed by this field this week. Yeah, so that's the big thing here, guys. Uh, this corn is stream barred on. This isn't the anhydrous. Mm -hmm. This is part of the 300 acre trial that we have where we stream barred on the nitrogen. Uh, the only nitrogen that's out here is 30 gallons of 28005. That, you know, so not quite 90 pounds. And uh, the average year Reagan has picked is 18 by 46. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're not predicting yield today. It's about a 30,000 stand. That's a big old ear, but we've got to fill it all the way out to the end. Mm -hmm. uh, the sap sample looks nice. Talk talk to them about the sap yeah, sample. Yeah, sap sampling. Our nitrogen conversion is in the high 90s, which is always a good thing that we want to see. Um, our micros are off the chart, which is a great thing, too. That's really going to where that grain fill is going to come from. Um, just looking at the little things, but also watching it throughout the season, see what it's taking up and what it's not. It's also really important. We've got excess potassium, you said, yeah. but we might be just a bit short of phosphorus. phosphorus. We might be able to address that in the next uh, helicopter pass. Absolutely. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I just, I am too.